What's good y'all? So I'm gonna break down the sample, explain the music theory, processing, the sound selection. So let's get straight to it. So here's the FOP, we got three sections. So here's the first idea I had, this one right here. I actually went to the first contact factor library, so it's not the Celeste in the library number two, it's in the original one right here. And here's the MIDI. So basically these notes down here is a perfect fifth C minor, so it's the root note with the fifth of the C sharp minor. And the top notes are just like I said, the root note of the C sharp minor and the third of the C sharp minor. Uh, and like I said, I played this, so I don't really, I cannot explain the music theory or my thought process because I was just pressing random keys. So the effects chain is I start off with the compressor just to even out the, the levels after that i eq'd out some of the high frequencies and some of the lows eq'ing out some of the harsh frequencies right here and finally pitching down the sample to semitones here's what it sounds like after the processing After that, I wanted to layer it with some sounds, so I used this one right here. The analog lab preset is by HZE, and it's the NVX preset inside of the darkness analog lab bank. And the pattern is pretty simple. It's just a C sharp minor without the middle note in two different octaves, and it sounds like this. So after these two sounds, I added another layer or another counter melody, and it's also a pretty simple melody. I use this Kilo Key by Prod by Cloud from his Ether Multi Kit. So I start off at the fifth of the chord right here. I made it slide up to the half step and then up to the C sharp, which is the root note, so about up here. It sounds like this now. The last sound sounds like this. Another super simple pattern, and it's from Analog Lab this time. Um, it's the Evil preset from a bank that I've been working on, and it's supposed to drop maybe in a few weeks. Uh, I don't have a release date yet, but stay tuned for that. Basically, did the same thing that I did with the, the other Analog Lab sound. I made one chord down here and then duplicated it over here and pitched up one octave. So, also a very minimalistic pattern, but everything together in the A section sounds like this. then it drops into the B section. So the first change I did to the B section is I duplicated this one over and I took the portal that I had on the effects chain and I uh, activated it because it was bypassed in the first section. Now the melody sounds like this. And I wanted some energy so I added a bass right here. Making it break right here just to, to let the sample breathe a little bit and then that when it hits again it, hit, it feels like it, it's a little bit harder. The sound is by Mike Fuego and it's called Mob and it's inside his Spectre analog lab bank right here. And the third sound I added, I wanted some movement in the sample, like I wanted to sound a little faster and not so slow, so I added this pattern right here. And it's this pattern right here, it's just a C sharp minor to a C sus 2. But basically all of these goes up here and I just pitch them down one half step right here. The preset is from Tape Rooms by, by Spitfire Audio. Uh, and I went with the Krill around keys. I added a few effects to the effects chain. So the first thing is this uh, side chain thing by Shaper Box. It makes the chords kind of fade in instead of just hitting. After that I add some textures, uh, like vinyl textures with the LP and EQ, taking up the lows and the highs. So now the pattern sounds like this. Final sound I added is this one right here. It's just a one note synth. The preset is Champagne. It's from a new analog lab bank that I've been working on. And I just layered it with the bass line. It's just a one note following the root note. Yeah, that's all the sounds for the B part. The B part sounds like this.
and for the c part the last section i didn't add any new sounds i just rearranged it a little bit so i kept the this one i kept the bass i brought back this one from the first section and i brought back this one from the a part and also brought back the the fast static chords So that's pretty much it for the video hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for that new analog lab bank it should drop soon and if you haven't checked out my ethereal echo sound kit yet you can go get it in my link in the description below it's a bunch of one shot accents and phrases and midis and you can use the code echoes for 30 percent off but yeah thank you for watching and i'm gonna catch you all in the next video peace